And I think something happened almost from the moment the doors underneath David Kindersley's and Leader Cardozo's extraordinary gateway opened. People came in. They sort of took a deep breath. And that sense of calmness that descends on almost anyone who walks through this door seems to have descended upon the national conversation about this building. People discovered, readers discovered, the, the delicacy uh, of execution. They found the sense of public space, open space. Uh, uh, and more and more people, I should say, uh, began to discover it as some of the barriers were removed and what was once just scholarly areas became open to all visitors. And then the reading rooms themselves, which almost unique among uh, reading rooms on the planet, are evidently designed with the reader first. They're designed from the desk outwards. Uh, and the use of natural light, famously top-lit on that side of the building, and with, then with that glorious western light coming in for those of you who use the science reading rooms uh, on this side of the, uh, the, the, side of the room uh, of the building behind me. And what I think people who then used this building on a regular basis discovered is that this is surely the most deeply thought through library building in the world. And the, uh, uh, the, the moment that came in 2016 when this was grade one listed was felt, I'm sure, as a moment of proud and sweet vindication for those individuals who worked so hard and, let's be honest, sacrificed so much to get it built. But for the new generations of users and visitors of every year from all over the world, I think it felt like the most natural thing in the world.